all the assignments they could have given me. <sighs> could you stand a little to the left? I think you're blocking my readings. What are you doing out here? Oh, it's important research. I won't bore you with the technical details, but it's critical that I get this done. I'm on mass business too. I need some research data on trees. Trees? Uh, I see what's going on here. You're working with Kelton, aren't you? Nice try, but it's not happening. No, no way. Kelton is actively ruining my career. There's no chance that I'm helping him with anything. Whatever this thing is he's on about, he's just doing it to make himself look good with the higher-ups. I'm not helping him with that. Why are you so against helping him? Kelton screwed me over good. Probably ruined my chances for advancing in mass. I'm not going to forgive that, ever. Kelton said this is about, isn't about him. Lives could be at stake. <laughs> right. Of course, we're all in danger. Trees are involved, after all. Uh, he really won't let this go, will he? Hmm. Maybe I can make this work in my favor. Okay, you know what? I'll hand over the data. But I'm only going to do so after you've helped me secure a better position in MAST. What do you want me to do? Oh, don't worry. You're just going to erase some files for me. Make sure I look good next time promotions get passed around. Fine. Wait, really? Wow. Okay. Okay! I'll follow your lead, but I wish handling our tree issue didn't involve using illegal methods to get the job done. I've gotten a few bad performance evaluations in the last couple of years. Totally unjustified, incredibly unfair. I found a backdoor into the mass network so I could make some changes to my personnel file. But it turns out the chief engineer knows what she's doing. The only way to get access is from the terminal in her apartment, which is kind of locked. <coughs> How about you just give me Kelton's data now and we skip the rest? <laughs> Sorry, that's not on the table. This isn't the way to get ahead. From where I'm standing, kind of seems like it is. There has to be a way we can work this out. There is, and I already explained exactly what it is. Hand over the data, right now. I can't do that. Enough. The deal is the deal. You get Kelton's stupid data when I know that the files have been wiped from the chief engineer's terminal. Just get in, access her terminal, delete the files, and get out. Really simple. What exactly is this data I'm deleting for you? Oh, don't worry about it. It's just, uh, pretty much everything in my personnel file. Most of it is fine, of course. I'm good at what I do. I just received a few very unfair reviews recently, and I figure, why not start over completely? Aren't you worried someone will notice it's missing? Not much experience with government bureaucracy, huh? The mass network is running off hardware that is decades old. They don't upgrade anything unless it's absolutely necessary. This will just be one entry in a long list of mild annoyances that aren't worth following up on. It's kind of amazing, really. What exactly do you do at MAST? Between you and me? As little as possible. <laughs> I'm just kidding, of course. I worked really, really hard at my job. Studied in computational bioscience. Did some time in agrogenetics. Uh, these days, I just help out wherever I can. Waiting for a good opportunity. Maybe an opening in administration. You know how it goes.
working as a genuine spaceport technician. Fancy. You making the large stacks of credits now? Oh, the largest. Looks like we're eating at Dawn's Roost tomorrow night. I was thinking maybe chunks. Be still, my heart. Without my wife, there's no way I'd be where I am today. Beginnings are always so exciting. Prior reports of insubordination, reprimand for missing deadlines reported by Fresh Kelton. Mr. Hadak refused to carry out assignments, stating that they were beneath him. And there are plenty of idiots who can scrape bark. Mr. Hadak was removed from his research team and placed on administrative leave. for obsessive behavior put by security chief Sarkin. Mr. Fresh was accused of attempting to ambush President Al Bello, stating that it was a matter of imminent danger and that life will find a way. Mr. Fresh has been warned to not en to enter commands, central command floor of mass for a period of no less than th three months. I purged that too? Okay.
if I may assist you. You won't find a larger array of options in all the settled systems, I guarantee you. You seem very sure of yourself. Who would you buy from someone who is not? I know what I like. I have a good sense of what most other people like. And the rest is just making sure they're pleased with their purchase. It's clothing, not grab drive tech. Let's see what you got. You'll find that I have most everything on offer. God damn, the fuck. <laughs> Interesting. You can persuade people better because you're wearing a sari. I don't know about the I will tell you a secret. <laughs> I'm not sure anyone really does. Some act like they have it all figured out. And I admit I am guilty of that myself from time to time. There are, I suppose, a few actively trying to steer the herd. But most are just content to run at the front of the pack and act like they know where it's going. At the end of the day, you must feel comfortable in what you wear. If it speaks to you, what anyone else thinks doesn't matter. Your patronage is appreciated. Oh, I see. Okay. Well, yeah, sure right. I have something that's sorry you. then. No, be my guest. Let's do it. Let's do it. I'll see you again, I'm sure. to wear something let's find you something that you love the way the way really have to wear something no we don't I'm glad you came in
closer you get, the better I see. Closer you are, the Everyone says, another time, yeah. When you're around, closer you get. Mind your step, important research happening here. You have some good news for me? I don't like it, but I did it. Oh, boo-hoo. We both get what we want. I took a peek on the network. Saw that things have updated. Great job. You came through for me, so now I'll do the same for you. This slate has all the data Kelton needs. Hand it over to him, stuff it down his throat. It's all the same to me. It's really quite crucial. You, mo you owe me for this, Carlton, more than you know. Yeah, we didn't have to tell him nothing about the illegal activity. If it's all the same to you, I'd prefer to go on not knowing. I'm sorry if this was complicated. I'd prefer to remain unaware of the details and the event that it comes up later, particularly in the legal setting. And I suppose I'd better verify the data Make sure Emilio didn't double cross me. But you have once again come through for me. I'm truly hoping that this is the last piece I need to figure out what we can do. Cutting the thing down is always an option. Clearly, I am doing all I can to avoid that. Thank you for your assistance. Da, 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 da. Oh. I need some time to verify this data to make sure the really aliens are trying to anything funny with this.
Every time you sit down, the camera, the false back of this. Of confidence. You strike me as a fellow connector. What brings you to New Atlantis? Ah, the usual things, I suppose. Fame, fortune, power. <laughs> I'm only joking, of course. I've actually been fortunate to call New Atlantis home for many years. For a collector, like myself. I do believe there's no better place in all the Saturn systems. I've been charmed to make the acquaintance of many fellow old Earth enthusiasts here in New Atlantis. And that is why I continue to stay. What do you do? <laughs> Me? I want to be fun. I don't do much. Not anymore, at least. And that suits me just fine. Yes. I now need to collect artifacts from others. You see, every artifact tells a story, even school and parts, which most take for granted. People laugh at me when they see I collect old earth spoons. But think about this one. Spoons change the course of history. Can you imagine life without them? Caleb wants his gem back. He'd like to exchange this plate for it. A plate? Oh my. As in a plate from Earth? Absolutely. Without question. Here. Take the gem. <laughs> that Guillaume. If you wanted the gem back so badly, he could have simply asked. The gem is worthless. Less than a paperweight. But actually, Earth paperweights are quite valuable. Seems like there's a lot of animosity between you and Killam. Bah! I'm sure Guillaume makes it seem that way. In reality, it couldn't be further from the truth. Guillaume and I have known each other for years. Since we were both young men, he is the closest thing I have to a brother. And, much like brothers, we quarrel. But that doesn't mean we don't like each other. I will say... <laughs> Is it now, you, Yoshi, Evac underscore Babu, and games? Hey Evac, are you here to uh, sell art? Resist foodware from Earth. You've done me a great service today, friend. I'll be sure to never take this gem for granted ever again. Thank you for bringing it back to me. Until next time. What? No, just no, go away. I keep and welcome here. I am a manager. I should be managing. Organize a little more cleaning operation. 
Possession of an artifact. Oh, oh. It's a shame House Maroon abandoned their embassy. I bet we could have learned a lot from them. When someone insults you, you want to just get the shit out of them sometimes. But you don't. Not quite what I was thinking, but that's actually a great example for us. The man in the story was cruel. Do you know why he was cruel? You must feel what he feels. Understand his pain. Accept it. And deliver it not back upon him. Empathy. You mean empathy? But you say it like it's easy. Like anyone can just... Love a terrible person who has been terrible to me. Yeah, why even bother? I mean, isn't the cycle of humanity peace and war back and forth like forever? It seems kind of pointless to try so hard for something that won't last. Nothing ever really changes. It's not easy, no, but necessary. Because you see, everything has changed. God has given us the intelligence, the ingenuity to reach into the stars, to travel his path, to truly find him. But we can't do it alone. The only way is through unity. Ah, yes, Andreas. Yes, unity. Well, I'm sure you all have other things to do. Thank you for taking the time to stop and talk with me. I just happened to bump into a few friends seeking some spiritual guidance. I would want to pay a distraction. Even just the sound of his voice is comforting, I guess. Hello. Uh, no, hi there. I'm Marcus Astari. 
Uh, are you interested in a Sanctum Universum? It's not something that's crossed my mind. Well, maybe I can entice you then. Uh, it's an exciting time for the church. We're growing uh, every day. And oh no. if you're interested, we'd love to get to know you. Religion. Actually, we've had a few visitors come by. Keep that on Earth. But uh, they have yet to come visit us again. This strikes me as a good opportunity. I'm wondering, uh, would you like to go check in with those visitors and welcome them back to our church? Maybe all they need is just another invitation. <laughs> and don't worry, I'll pay for your effort, of course. Yeah, why not? Why not reach out to, the, to them yourself as a member of the church? Well, uh, that's why. We want to keep growing our community, but sometimes people can be suspicious of others who are already heavily involved in the church. A new face like yourself might make the prayer visitors more uh, comfortable with returning. And you all may learn something along the way. <laughs> Either something about the church or about yourselves. Let me think about it. All right. If you change your mind, come back to me. sermons? They're really good. Hard to believe it's been two decades since we were at war with the Collective, but it seems like only yesterday. We'll check you at the elevators. Try not to make a fuss. Welcome to the Free Star Embassy. Is there something I can help you with? Who can enter the embassy? Unless you have an appointment, only Free Star diplomats and security members are allowed inside. And because you're asking the question, I take it you don't have one. One of your representatives forgot his diplomatic visa. You can't forget what you don't need. Diplomatic visas haven't been in use since the colony war. Now this sounds to me like a guard bought a red marker and colored some tape. I'll make a call to Sergeant Yumi and see if I can't get this squared away. Thanks for the tip. Don't you worry, I'll have our people go and fetch the representative. Sidonia is an industrial town. The people there tend to be concise. Maybe another time. Wait, what is this a memorial or something? Oh. Underwear 
this will all end. Goodbye. Anything interesting going on? Are you kidding? Take a look around. You're in the most boring place in the galaxy. Only good thing down here is Kay's house. Best cooking in the settled systems. And let me tell you, I know my food. But I can't even go there anymore because Kay banned me for bad behavior. Me? Can you believe that? What a lot of crap! What do you do down here? Why do you want to know? You with security? The law's no friend of mine. You do have a bit of a rebellious air about you. But maybe that's exactly what you want me to think. Besides, I'm not gonna reveal my operation to some nobody who just waltzed up to me. Not yet, anyway. Don't like your attitude. Yeah, well, newsflash, buddy. I don't like anything about you, either. In fact, I dislike you with such conviction that I'm inclined to fight you right now. What do you say we go ten rounds? Right here, right now. You're not worth the effort. Ha! Oh, I knew you were a coward the moment I laid eyes on you. A word of advice. Down here, you need to be big, strong, and cunning to survive. Like me. A pipsqueak like you. Last He's probably day. like level 50 or some shit, so we have to come back. And oh god, finally! I was getting bored! Eat him up later. Alright. You want a beer? Fine. You want a buddy to talk to? Or a therapy session? Or whatever? Walk right back out that door. Nice place you've got here. First of all, I didn't ask what you thought of it. Second, don't blow smoke up my ass. We both know it ain't nice. You got a lot of business down here? Down here? Like that's somehow different from other bugs. Wars, maybe? That's what we're implying? It's actually underground, so I wasn't wrong. What are you? A structural engineer? Some mast egg head? I know full well what down here lies. Yeah? Alright. Such an ass. What like? Someone needs to get laid or something. Demo Star Yards will hire me? 
What am I saying? Of course they would. I'm the best. Can you tell me about the well? You want food? Go to Case. You want an attitude? Try Jake's. You want to feel empty inside? <laughs> Get your bags and move in. Uh, seriously though, this place is half doom and all gloom. Which is precisely why I'm leaving. Most people who grew up here don't be. Only because they're all a bunch of queers whose only goal is to make it to the weekend. A bunch of queers, is that what he's is? All I need is a shot. Are you a pilot? I'm working on it. Taking the UC Vanguard exams. Saving up for my own ship. You know how it works. It's just taking a little longer than I expected. already passed the exams myself. Damn, hotshot. What are you doing down here then? This is the last place I'd be. Uh-huh. Oh. There's so many. Can we take all of them? Do delivery. Oh. Transfer two workers to biochemical silo. Oh no, these are timed. Is this like, um, Why do they have to be timed? What are you doing? 
Here, I have something for you. A gift for me? You should know. <laughs> oh, you're incorrigible. I picked it up on one of our latest planetary expeditions. I'm more than just an extra gun, you know. But we didn't have a uh, planetary ex well, Okay. We just met. Well, I appreciate the effort. I'm just pleased I get to utilize some of my old field collecting skills. It's been a while. Check back with me from time to time after we return from our planetary jaunts. If I pick anything up, it's all yours. We didn't even go on a planetary expedition. There was a small bit of dust on your shoulder. How dare it try to spoil your protection. But don't, is it weird that I still get nervous around you? We're literally best friends after all. That was a good talk. It'll be hard to top it, but you always manage. Where's my, where's the robot? Standing right next to a thruster, it's like really? <laughs> How does that work? That's all you have to do is just you didn't even have to pick up so I guess it's automatically put into your ship and then once you land it's done. Construction 
was it an industry trip for toys? Those what drugs are going back. There should be real ones in there. Archimedes and his story mills are dedicated to the government. We were just hoping the hey, bank could show us some dedication in return. I'm not closing off the city every time you want to run a tour group through here. Our investor visits are the key to making Gagarin a place that works again. Looks to me like you're already in pretty good shape. People are living here just fine. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have security work to get back to. You're not on my Mrs. Is it mm. can imagine what the temperatures get up to outside the canyons. Take a that from Gagarin. What gave it away? I was born in New Atlantis. But the business environment is so stuffy here. Centuries old firms set in their ways. Gagarin is great, exciting, an opportunity for growth. And isn't that what business and life are all about? Yeah, I saw you talking with one of the security officers earlier. What was that about? Oh, Chief Pretorius? She thinks Gagarin is just peachy being poor and run down has no vision, but Arkmite does. Thanks to our investment, the largest formerly shuttered mech plant in the city has been refurbished and is churning out some of the finest heavy equipment in the settled systems. And we're sharing that vision of the revived Gagarin with others. We've been bringing in investors, showing them all the potential of this place. We were only asking the chief to make sure the areas we planned to visit didn't have any malcontents running around. Unfortunately, some of the locals don't appreciate all we've done for the city. Treat them with respect, not sure locals will come around eventually. <laughs> we expect they will. After all, what truer sign of respect is there than a high paying salary? What's Arkmite? Arkmite? We're the galaxy's premier heavy equipment firm. Diggers, construction robotics, that sort of thing. And we're on Gagarin to take advantage of an opportunity. The city's old mech factories have been sitting dormant for years now. But they're open again thanks to us. We've automated the old assembly lines and brought plenty of money to the city in the process. It's a win-win for all involved. This has been lovely. Really. Oh, tell me you're here to just report a good old-fashioned crime. If I have to deal with one more corporate exec begging for special treatment, I'll eat my badge. How do we get the new crimes to investigate? Sorry, what is this about some corporate execs? Oh, you haven't heard? Gagarin's going to be the next new Atlantis. Or so we've all been told. Centauri Mills, Arkmite, Reliant Medical. They all bought up and renovated derelict buildings here in the city in the past couple of years. We needed the jobs to be sure. The garden got hit hard after the mech plants were all shuttered when the colony war ended. But I'm not sure I've ever met a more entitled group than these executives. Treat the city like an amusement park, and all of us as the amusements. It's kept me and my people plenty busy, just not with actual policing. But uh, I'm sorry, did you actually need to report something? Get no argument from me. Corporations are leeches. Drain people dry and move on to the next meal. Leeches feels a bit strong. Maybe if they didn't pay their taxes and help repair the catwalks. They're an added annoyance to my day though, that's for sure. But look, I'm Security Chief Pretorius. If you do have anything to report, you can speak to me or one of my officers. We're always around. Is there a lot of crime in Gagarin? We've had our issues. Some folks aren't thrilled about the corporations moving in. But the majority don't have money. Those that do, 
largely keep it civil. Protest, throw some paint, the occasional Craig wanders off. But we've managed to avoid any open conflict so far. It's really not a bad assignment. How long you've been on the job? Well, I came here right after training, which was ten years ago now. Gagarin was a lot rougher then. People were still reeling from all the plants getting shut down after the war. So there was a lot of petty theft, breaking. I was responsible for putting together a pretty busy community outreach program. Worked out well enough that they eventually made me chief. Anything I should see while in Gagarin? The god is not really that sort of bird. Most of the restaurants went belly up when the mech trade shut down. Only one left is Lizzie's. On the other side of town, though it does have a nice view of the square. There's also a little social club. The local executive set up across from Lizzie's. But it's still pretty light on amenities. Now, if you're just looking to resupply, then you'll want Clint's. Another case of last business funding, but he's got a good selection. And for medical supplies, you'll want Dr. Keala. You can find both of them on the main concourse. Beyond that, we're just corporate offices and private homes. Just stay out of trouble. Something you want to report? Should get back to it anyway. I thought there was an option to ask about helping with crimes and shit. I guess I missed an opportunity. Yeah, go in there. <laughs> uh, we'll just leave her behind. Oh, you managed to get yourself out, okay. Security's usually good about keeping out strays, but keep your eyes open at night for dust devils and palm wings, okay? Grip and stock mods.
you have not been authorized to direct this unit. Thank you for your understanding. Salutations. Please ask the supervisor if you need something. You're not the usual courier. Please tell me you're his replacement, and that you're just here to pay me a long overdue visit on his behalf. A delivery? What are you talking about? What am I talking about? I'm talking about someone, anyone, handing over my exceedingly late delivery. Now, are you my courier's replacement or not? I think you've got me confused with someone else. You're not the courier. Hmm. Our delivery service doesn't run late like this. Something must have happened. Look, I'm expecting a very important package. Very important. What would you say to tracking it down for me? Quickly. I pay, and I pay well. I can find your package for sure. Good. Let's get you on your way then. Akachi Rosenblum, United Transport, Garen Branch. Now, please. Akashi, it's Helena, over at Reliant Medical. Your courier never showed. I need his stops for the day. This is my I don't care voice, Akashi. Oh, and what's your firm's policy on losing our branch as a client? I thought so. Send it to my personal state. Thank you, Akashi. Here, all the places our courier might have gotten way late. She mentioned a panel or something that you can plug his ID number into at each delivery point. They should tell you if he's been there recently. The ID's 8148. When you do finally track him down, you can tell him you'll be completing delivery. Now go get me my package. Please.
<laughs> Wait, what is that? We're gonna jump, we're gonna through the planet. We're gonna do a hyper jump. <laughs> through a planet? Cydonia looks like the other place, just on a different planet.
Project here in scenic underground Sedonia. I could spare a minute or two to chat, so long as you're not looking for mining work, I suppose. What's the klaxons and detonation announcement I heard? Oh, that! Oh, nothing to worry about. We do fracking on Mars with subterranean particle detonations. Those announcements are just to let people know when to expect them. You probably felt the rumble when the detonations actually go off. That's all it is. Not too bad, eh? Fracking with subterranean particle detonations? What's that? Hmm. Basically, it's high-tech mining. We use immensely powerful controlled particle detonations deep underground to loosen up subterranean gases and other difficult-to-gather resources so we can harvest them. Sounds way more dangerous than it is. <laughs> Probably. Actually, it's still pretty dangerous. You know what I'm doing. Well, now I'm even more concerned that particle detonations are happening around me all the time. Oh, come on, mate. It's perfectly safe. We're miles away, so all we get is a little jiggle now and again. Just make sure to hold the railing when going downstairs and you'll be fine. So you must be the boss around here? Yep, that's me. Joined up with Deimos when I was just 17 as a mining gopher. Go for this, go for that, you know how it is. I worked hard, proved myself capable, and got the promotion to mining director about six years ago, after the old boss retired. Some of the older guys resent me, but I give everyone a lot of leeway as long as they meet their quotas. That keeps them happy enough. How goes the mining operation here on Mars? Not so bad for one of the oldest mines in the settled systems. We struggle with the lack of decent equipment, but we work hard and make up for it. As I'm sure you know, we're responsible for supplying resources to Deimos Star Yards, which in turn is responsible for supplying UC naval vessels. That, among other major projects, makes us one of the United Colony's most important mining operations. The prestige and pay that comes with it almost makes up for being stationed at the arse end of the settled systems in the middle of nowhere. I used to do mining, mining work for Argos. I was hoping you'd have work, but it doesn't sound like it. Argos, huh? Now yeah, I've heard of them. That's great, but yeah, unfortunately all our mining contracts are filled right now. Unless, maybe you could help me out with a job. Off the books. I don't know, seems a little sketchy. Nah, well, well, I'm being up front, maybe a little. But I promise, it's harmless. See, you might have noticed that our equipment ain't exactly holding together like it used to. Problem is, we can't get new equipment unless we start exceeding our quotas. And we can't do that until we get new equipment. A real dilemma, right? I've got a plan for solving our little problem, though. I don't understand where I come into play. I'm getting there. First, I need someone from the outside to bolster our yields so we can prove that we can exceed our quota. I'll fill you in on the rest of the details after you've hauled up some more. One standard quota should do. I need to know I can trust you with the easy stuff first. Are you just going... Yeah, are you sure you're not just exploiting me for free labor? Of course not. 
I'll pay you out of my own pocket. I care about my miners, even if corporate doesn't understand our struggles down here. I'm willing to put in some sacrifices to help. That's just the kind of guy I am. If I had the credits to buy all the equipment myself, I would. But this is the next best thing. Why not just hire more miners? Yeah. Don't you think I want to? Corporate sets the contracts and they're not giving out any. So we work with what we've got. Something to do with insurance, benefits, and uh, other liabilities. I don't make the rules. Sounds easy, I'll do it. When you've got enough, drop it off in the bin over there for processing. Then come see me. Andromeda Kepler. <laughs> okay. Jack, I'm gonna go slow. Yes. What? Can't believe we're still burning up huge mineral deposits after all this time. Let's get a drink around here. Everything. I make it a point not to sell crap. We got beer, wine, and spirits. We don't do too many fancy mixed drinks, at least not the kind you get in Neon or New Atlantis. It's my belief that the only booze worth drinking doesn't need to be mixed with something else to taste good. Any local rumors? Plenty. But if I went blabbing them to any rando that walks into my bar, no one would ever tell me anything around. You don't do this job for 45 years by losing your customer's trust. I guess I could respect that. You don't guess. You know that. And you better know it if you want to keep drinking in my bar. Like a bitch. I'm looking for a Vanguard name more. You ain't been around. One off on control. Incense. We're starting to think it might be time to pour one out to the blackest sea. Wait, the blackest sea. You got another word for it? He means out of space. Well. Space isn't the kind isn't kind to the lost. He's in trouble or worse. Sounds about right. Nothing more I'd love than to help out a fellow marshal, especially one that's missing. But <clears throat> he has a tab, and you don't know if he's coming back. It's a lot of credits, okay? I let it slide for a long time because he's a regular. But if I'm out of all that money, I've got problems. What do you say? Skip to the part where you admit you're lying. No, I've done this routine. Let's skip to the part where you admit you're lying about what he owes. You call me a liar? I'll throw both of you out of this bar right now. Oh, please. Two strangers arrive from Offworld asking for information only you have. You see an opportunity. Everyone always does. Lower the price. Don't think we can't find another way to get what we want. Fan. <laughs> he could need help. He shouldn't put a price on that. Come on. Life on Sedonia ain't hard enough. You'll trip me.
What matters to you more? The money or more is what life? Yes, I should ask you the same <laughs> question. I am the one. God damn. Nobody will ever know you told me, I promise. I don't think he's gonna say yes to any of these, to be honest. Maybe. What do you think about it? I know there's a way to get past this. You may think so. I don't. That's enough. You either pay up or get out. I'm done talking about this. I need a way to make cash then. Got any work? I got a board here in the bar where people post all kinds of spacefaring jobs. Way to make quick money. What are you doing with them, bro? Spinning around, spinning around. Just gonna stand there, your mouth open. <laughs> ja, ja. look kind of fun.
actually, no, this is not No Man's Sky. You can't get even close to the planet. for two. How easy it is to change into a regular clothing. I still can't believe people actually live like this.
It's a little weird that people come here to see what early colony life was like. <laughs> to me, it's just how we live. Come from one of those planets with beautiful skies and fresh air. My, how I'd love to visit one day. Huh, someone new. Are you a tourist or have you just moved to New Homestead? Thinking about buying a home here. <laughs> oh, you should probably know then that homes aren't the same as where you're probably from. You'd be lucky to own a private room, let alone a whole half unit of your own, but. Don't let that scare you away. It's quite cozy and pleasant here. I'm fascinated by the other worlds in the settled systems. Do you mind if I ask you a question? Sure. Oh, wonderful. What's New Atlantis like? It's not as impressive as they make it out to be. Too much hustle and bustle. That's disappointing. It seems so exciting from all I've heard. It must be a matter of personal taste, then. I wonder if I'd like it. Maybe someday I'll get up the nerve to visit myself. Do you mind if I ask you another question? It's always interesting when people want to know something and then, you know, they really don't want to know because they already have their own opinion about something. They never really want to know. What, what what is true what is real thanks i promise not to take too much of your time is the free star collective as lawless as i've heard it's not as lawless as they led you to believe people still believe in rules and just as free star collective is not what you need to People you need to worry about is the uh, the Taliban, the Space Taliban, whatever the name is, like the serpent worshippers. I figured the stories weren't all true. How else would you expect people to live together if you can't trust in laws to keep everyone safe? Even in a small community like ours, we have to maintain law and order. Though, I understand it gets difficult to always protect that out in the vastness of space. I imagine it's the same in the Free Star Collective. Is it okay if I change the subject? Sure. Oh, thank you. Are there really planets for plants, fresh air, and water? read about them. It seems incredible, doesn't it? I've only ever known Titan, and it's always so cold and drab. I've always dreamed of visiting one to breathe the air, feel the warmth of its sun, but my husband is reluctant to leave our home. Can I ask you something else? Oh, wonderful. Is space travel as exciting as it seems? I've heard stories about pirates and spaceship malfunctions and all sorts of terrible things. I've always wanted to try going into space, but I'm also worried about all those dangers. Maybe people here are right. The dangers here are few, and we know how to take care of them. Space is too unknown. Those are all the questions I have at the moment. Thank you so much for taking time out of your busy day for me. Zombie. Running this farm with my family for the sake of our little colony is one of the greatest pleasures in life. Sidonia is an industrial town. The people there tend to be concise. Bye bye. Off worlders always ask how I can live here. I wonder how they can live anywhere else. Papa, 
You're always talking about how important it is to preserve oh. our traditions. But why do we have to farm? How is that part of our tradition? Yeah. Well, we tend to farm here because we need to grow food. And that's what our ancestors did on Earth. But didn't they have big open fields and giant machines? We don't have any of that. Now we know what Papa... She makes a good point, dear. Uh, it's because we have a much smaller space to work with. So then, it's not really the same, is it? How is it a tradition if it's not the same thing as they did? And, so then, why is it important that we preserve it? I don't know, it just is. Now, we don't want to fall behind our work, so let's get back to it, okay, kiddo? Okay. Of them sound pretty scary though. Now we know what Papa does and uh, during his free time and why they have this guy hired. You know, why would you lie to your kid like that? I guess just so that the kid would be happy living here. Just say that, yeah, this is just the way we live because we're in a like one of the first colonies or whatever. You don't have to lie and say it's tradition. I mean, tradition in essence is a bad thing anyway because it it makes you uh, com complacent you know when you say something is tradition you all can travel the stars but someone's got to respect and preserve the old soul traditions it's like you have to do things just one way you can't you can't think outside of it you have to celebrate this holiday because it's tradition that holiday and this thing that we do and that thing that we do. I overheard you speaking to my wife more, <laughs> filling her head with ideas about picking up and leaving home. You got anything to say for yourself? Um, <laughs> we, we don't know you guys over here eat fucking leaves. Yeah, she clearly wants to visit off world. Why not let her? I mean, yeah, you have your fun with messing around with that employee, you know, why can't she go out and have some fun herself? Listen here. Mara's free to make her own decisions. I'm not here to control her if that's what you're insinuating. But that doesn't mean I take kindly to other people manipulating her and telling her the other worlds are full of sunshine and rainbows. We live a simple traditional life here, and it's important to the community that we maintain that. Do you understand? <laughs> well, he's eating all the leaves. What traditions? Traditions like the way we tend this farm. Strong family ties. Early colonial life. We do it all with the bare minimum technologies to survive. Everything else is hard work done by humans. It's good for humanity's soul. What's so important about your traditions? People rely on technology too much. We need to remember how to perform the basics to survive in case we ever find ourselves without said technology. We need to remember where we came from, Earth, this system, lest we forget and repeat the same mistakes as before. We're one of the last colonies charged with that preservation. That's why it's important. Well, that's why we have archives and shit, you know? We can re re refer to them when we need to. Doesn't mean that you don't embrace change. I don't agree with you. People should explore the universe freely. We're going to have to agree to disagree then. I only ask that you respect our wishes. No. Goodbye, sir. I overheard you speaking to my wife, Mora, filling her head with ideas about picking up and leaving home. You got anything to say for yourself? Mind yourself out there. You get used to the methane process and smell, but after a while. Mm -hmm. Sounding really country and everything, that's pretty sexy. Yeah, we know what the dad is doing. Where's, uh, where's the little kid? Did you talk oh, to her? Don't mind me, I love talking with off-worlders like you. We got questions out here, she's...
I'm not really supposed to talk with tourists, but I kind of want to anyway. And I don't think my papa is paying attention. You're not going to tell him, are you? There's something right there. <laughs> I don't think I will, not unless he asks. Oh, I guess that's okay. I wouldn't want to make you lie. My mama always tells me it's not good to lie. Mm. Now what should we talk about? Are there a lot of other kids in New Homestead? Not really. There's some though. Most are around my age. We all go to school in the same room. Why doesn't your dad want you talking to tourists? My mama says it's because he thinks we'd up and leave if we found out about the rest of the world out there. But I keep telling him, I love it here. And I love him. And I would never leave him. He doesn't believe it. He says the kids almost always want to leave when they grow up. No shit. But not me. Nope. I just want to visit somewhere else. Maybe. That's what you say now. Do you enjoy working on the farm? I think it's pretty fun. And I get to be around my mama and my papa all day, so that's cool. They say we all have to work a little. Because it takes all of us to make the community work. Just like on Earth a really, really, really long time ago. It doesn't even work like Someday, that on Earth. I think it'd be cool to see other places and do other things. But this is fine for now. Is school here the same as other schools in the settled systems? I don't... Mm, I don't know. I've never been to any other schools. We mostly learn about the history of the soul system and Earth and stuff like that. Until we get old enough to go on our learning vacation. That's when we get to leave to go to school somewhere else for a few years. Or travel and visit other worlds, try out jobs and stuff. Oh, I can't wait. Thanks for taking the time to talk with me. Let's see if he gets upset about that too while he is, he's eating more leaves. I overheard you speaking to my wife, Mara, filling her head with ideas about picking up and leaving home. You got anything to say for yourself? Goodbye. Yeah, this looks like the well. Run away. All these tourists are able to come and go as they please. I wish I had that kind of money. Oh, you, you don't really want to talk to me. I'm just a nobody from the crates. Besides, I'm not really good at talking to tourists about New Homestead. If you're really interested in our history, talk to Maurice. He's a lot better at that than I am. Please don't say that. I'm sure you're not a nobody. I feel like it sometimes. I don't have many friends, and I'm struggling to stay in my undergrad program. It feels like I'm never going to get out of here. 
make a name for myself. Anyway, if we're going to talk, maybe we should talk about something else. How do you feel about your home being a tourist destination? It's not as bad as you think. I like talking to off-worlders, especially people my age. It gives me ideas for what I want to do when I'm done with school. Because, honestly, I'm not sure I want to stay here. It'll always be my home, but as soon as I can afford to, I'd love to explore my options. What do you do here in New Homestead? Well, I'm trying to finish up my undergrad schooling, actually. I want to be a physicist like my grandmother. Then, who knows what. But I also do some odd jobs here or there for money. Sometimes I help Jay out at his shop and he gives me stuff in return. Sometimes I help Anya clean up at the brown horse when she's short-staffed. That sort of thing. You mentioned something about the crates. What's that? The crates are what we call the living quarters for the poor people. Like me. They're made from old shipping containers. We have to make do with the space we have here. They're comfortable enough, I guess. And no one on Titan is well off to begin with. But you can tell that people look down on us. Especially some of the tourists. So you're having trouble with your studies? Okay, well, no. Not the studies specifically. Like, I get good grades when I'm able to apply myself. But I'm poor. I just don't have the kind of money to be a full-time student and support myself. Even living in the cheap-ass crates. I keep having to take odd jobs just to put food on my plate. And when I do, my grades suffer. I just feel like I'll be stuck in a rut forever. 20,000? Do I even have 20,000? I don't know if she's telling me the truth. I mean, that's the thing. I mean, she could just be begging. You can be successful without finishing school. You may just need to get out of the homestead. The homestead. I mean, if if this game wants to give you the option to give her money, at least let us check to see if she's telling us the truth. Really? I thought it was the only way. I remember my parents telling me that when they were still around. But maybe you're right. I guess I can put my studies on hold, at least until I get enough credits saved up to live on. I can always return to my studies then. Maybe part of the reason I feel I've been stuck in a rut is because I push myself too hard. Thanks for the advice. It helped. I'm sure she appreciates the advice, but I think actual funds would have been a bit more helpful. Bitch, you got money? <laughs> okay. How much money do we have? We only have 3,000. No, where, where's some? Oh, we have... Oh, okay, well... Hey... Okay, well, no. Not the studies specifically. Like, but... Uh, I keep having to take odd job. Later. <laughs> so we can always go back. what you said. Okay, well, no. But, I keep having to... Really? But, maybe part of the... I'm sure she appreciates the advice, but I think actual funds would have been a bit more helpful. It's funny how she says that, but then she's not willing so, to give us any. So we'll have to come back and pay this bitch some money, I guess. There's no way we... I just have to remember. Should we just give it to her? Is she telling the truth? Must be nice to be able to afford to travel, huh? 
That's a lot of fucking money. Thanks for stopping by to talk. I can't tell you how much I needed to hear what you had to say. Thank you. See you around, maybe. <laughs> oh, these are the crates. Okay. I'm not sure it would be nice to get off world sometime. Well, it looks nice enough, I guess. You turn it into like a living space for like a room. You turn it into like a small room. That's fine. Yeah, what's wrong with that? I mean, the new, um, oh, I forgot the gravity, there's no, <laughs> no. that's right, you can just jump up. I mean, like, uh, modern uh, amenities are like, just like this, but it's just not, not, not made out of crates, but the design is similar, you know, in like a small room. It's just fine. And it's not hot, it's a cold planet, so it's fine. I mean, I don't mind living in a crate room. They have a store for tourists. Hello there. The museum here is free to everyone. It has a quaint charm, doesn't it? Just like the rest of New Homestead. Well, I hope you'll come back and see us again sometime. And I hope you'll consider another Star Set tour. Tell your friends! Bye. Bye. Thanks again. Did you see those wind turbines out there? Wow. It's been a while since I last visited. Nice to see this place still has the same charm. Oh, sweet baby. You know, kids, little troublemakers. I'll tell the guests to be more careful. Damn right. You've got to do something, or else next time it happens, I'm feeling you personally. That's her issue. Tourists are touching stuff. Great! Another tourist. <sighs> Let me guess. You slipped on the ice and need a doctor to wrap your sprained ankle? <laughs> What's your problem with tourists? They don't... Don't they help the local economy? They do, but they're also a terrible burden for a small colony doctor like myself. I have enough trouble treating our own people with the time and resources I have. That's kind of a terrible attitude for a doctor. Maybe. I'm sorry if it sounded harsh. I'm just frustrated. However, I think if you walked a mile in my shoes, you'd probably feel the same. Anyway, what can I do for you? Is it difficult being a doctor in such an old-fashioned community? Hmm. Even though we don't have shiny new medical facilities, I imagine it's easier than wherever you're from. We have fewer people here, and we're very responsible when it comes to our personal health and welfare. So there's not much I can't handle. For anything else, we can get access to off-world specialists. Contrary to popular belief, we're not primitive. Is there any dangerous hazards to worry about on Titan? It's a harsh world, but as long as you're inside or wear a suit when going out, you'll be fine here. There's no breathable air on the surface, and you'll quickly freeze to death outside without protective gear, but otherwise the hazards are minimal. New Homestead was an early colony research base and has stood the test of time. It's safe, and it's proof that people can live pretty much anywhere. Don't worry so much. You really don't seem like to like the tourists. You really don't seem to like the tourists. I don't. They make a mockery of new homestead culture. And on top of it, they're reckless. It's like I said before, 
I feel like I'm treating them more often than our own people. Sounds frustrating. I wish there was something I could do. Actually, maybe there is. I have an idea that may be best suited for someone relatively unknown. Instead of myself. I've got a mountain of work and a reputation to maintain. So I bought a realistic monster costume. The, the plan was to wear it, scare tourists away, and start a rumor about terrible creatures living on Titan. I figure that once word gets around, tourism will pick enough of a dive to give me some relief. What? Sounds ridiculous. You really think it will work? Maybe. I'm not sure. I know it sounds crazy, but I don't have any other ideas. The tourism board flat out won't help me, and I don't have money in the budget to hire additional help. And you know these tourists will believe anything they see in here. I think it's worth a shot. That's gonna get Worst people... Worst case scenario, I'm back to square one. That just sounds fun. I don't care if it works. I'll do it anyway. That's the spirit? To be honest, I'm not sure it'll work either. But I feel like there's no harm in trying. Here's the costume. I think this will work best on the surface. So just find a group and run up to them acting like a convincing alien monster. With any luck, they'll run screaming and book the next flight out of here. Now this is actually gonna, gonna backfire because... Or make people want to come uh, visit. Oh! So stupid. Okay. Well, I guess I'll have to keep wearing this then for energy damage. Oh, but look at that. No radiation protection. No thermal protection. Nothing. Nothing. There's nothing.